In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the if statements, else if and else, or just if statement really, because all the stuff I just mentioned are part of the if statements. Beginners tend to be very excited about, uh, about the if statements, and they should be too, because I was, I was when I was a beginner as well. Uh, the if statement uh, lets you do very fun stuff and cool stuff with uh, little knowledge. So let's go to uh, Program Editor. We are going to create a new program and we are going to call it if statement so is press enter and uh, you can access uh, the statement you, you have several ways as always so you can go to f2 and uh, it's going to be the very first one right here so that says if but we're not going to use just if we're going to use all of them okay so if else if and i'm gonna i'm also going to show you what the then means okay so this is one way of accessing the if statement, so you can go to F2 and uh, just uh, select it. So if you select it here, it's just going to put the if, then it's going to go uh, to uh, to the next line, put then, to the next line, else, etc, etc. Or you can just uh, type it, if you know what you are doing, you can just type if, and then put your uh, condition, and etc, etc. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to pause the video and uh, write my codes here, and uh, I'll be back and explain to you. Uh, what uh, each line does. I have everything ready. I also uh, lift it up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better hopefully. So I'm gonna go over every single line and, and explain to you what they do. Okay, so obviously this is the name of the program here. And uh, program, that's where the program is going to start. So clear IO, I just wanna make sure that uh, every time I run this program, it's gonna, you know, open a new page. Okay, so now this next line, the input statement, it's going to ask the user uh, for their age and it's going to store that age into a variable called a okay so this is where the if statement is going to start next so these are the conditions okay so as you can see so if these conditions are met then uh, this is the next statement that is going to be displayed okay so if uh, the age a is greater or equal to 10 and age is less than 18 then this is the statement that is going to uh, be uh, shown onto uh, uh, onto the display okay so if I put a if I put an age uh, between uh, 10 and 17 remember this is less than 18 so it cannot be 18 it has to be less than 18 so that is the range is between uh, 10 and 17 then this is going to be displayed the message is gonna say you are a teen else if so else if is just uh, another if, you know, this is the more efficient way of using the if statement, you know, instead of doing if, 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 because every time you use if, then you have to end up uh, the if statement. But as long as you are using else if, you don't have to end the statement immediately, okay? So you can use as many else if as you want, okay? It's just going to tell the program that uh, you are not done using the if statement just yet. You still have some more uh, condition that you uh, want to put, okay? So else if, that's what it does. So else if, then our second condition if age is greater or equal to 18 and age is less than 25 then this is the next statement that is going to be displayed almost a quarter of a century so if uh, the user age is between the age of 18 and 24 remember this is less than 25 so it cannot be 25 then uh, it's gonna it's gonna say that uh, the user is almost a, qu a quarter of a century and else so else is the last uh, uh, if statement. So if you don't have any more conditions, uh, then uh, you can just put the else. So what the else does is pretty much if uh, none of these two conditions are met, then uh, it's going to display this next statement here, okay? And the else, obviously, you cannot put any condition. It's not required. And if you put, if you try to put a condition here with the else or the trailing else, some people like to call it the trailing else. If you try to put a condition here, then the program is not going to run at all. Okay, you are going to get a syntax error. Okay, so if uh, the above conditions are not met, then the program is going to display you are under the age of 10 or at least 25. And you have this really important, you have to put uh, this uh, end if statement here. This marks the end of your if statement. And uh, that's it. So this marks the end of the program. So now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and pause the video and uh, add a loop to the program. The reason why I haven't added a loop here is because I don't want you to get confused, okay? So I'm going to cover that in the next video. So I'm going to pause the video, add my loop, and then we are going to uh, run the program. Okay, so I already added the loop. The loop is just uh, from, that's just uh, for me, okay? Because we are going to be uh, testing the program just to make sure it is uh, uh, fully working. So instead of me exiting uh, the program and do enter every time to rerun it, that's going to take a lot of time. So that's why I added a loop. 
okay so to run it just put a uh, is close and open parentheses and uh there you go so as you can see it is asking for the age what's your age okay so let's just put a random age let's put a uh, uh 45 press enter and uh this is the statement that you're going to get so the program is going to run through uh the if statement and see uh, which conditions uh this one uh, falls into so 45 falls into this uh, condition uh so i believe that was the uh last condition the else the trailing else if uh uh, the uh, two conditions were not met, then uh, the program is going to say you are under the you are under 10 or at least 25, which is true. 45 is at least 25, so 45 is more than 25. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter and try and run it against. If I put 25, let's see what happens. So if I put 25, it says you are under 10 or at least 25, which is exact. I'm actually 25, at least 25. So yeah, so that is true. So let's uh, run it one more time. Let's put a 14, and it says you are 18. Let's run it again. Let's put a uh, nine. So nine says you are under ten or at least twenty-five. So meaning everything checks up. So let's put a uh, one more. Uh, let's put a uh, eighteen. Okay. So eighteen says almost a quarter of a century. Okay. So if I put twenty-four, twenty-four is gonna say the same thing as well. Almost a quarter of a century. Okay. If I put seventeen, that is still eighteen. You are eighteen. Okay. That's it for the if statements. If you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section.